To direct me today? Yes. Okay. Let's see. So you know what we're doing now? No. I'm going to interview. When did you become a newspaper? Uh, today. today. But let's see. I'm, I have a lot of questions I'm supposed to ask. Mm -hmm. I am going to ask some of them, and then I'm going to go free. What do you freestyle. mean free? Freestyle. Freestyle. I'm going to ask what, you. What is this? Explain to me what is free a freestyle. Freestyle. I'm gonna, I, mean. I can ask you anything. Oh dear. And you can decide. And I can if, answer if I feel like it. And if you don't, Perfect. you don't answer. I'll answer for you. All right. If you don't. Perfect. <laughs> if you don't. Answer. Perfect. Let's do. Where do we start? Well, I'm going to start where everybody, with the question, everybody probably is interested in is. With. Which is. Why, did you start? Why and when did you all of a sudden say, I want to do this, I want to be a designer? It's a big leap because it's not easy, as you always say. It's not easy to be a designer. Right. Yes. But wh why? I, I started because I love fashion. Uh -huh. I have a passion for fashion. And uh, it was the right time in my life. And I wanted to do something new. And uh, I had the opportunity to do it in New York as you know, and uh, I thought it was the best. So this is why I'm in this business. I know, but I mean, you know, it's, it's not easy to all of a sudden, I mean, it, it's, it takes bravery, it's, you know, to say, I'm gonna, you know, I want to be a designer, I'm gonna do it. Now it would be impossible to do that. You know, you did it why 35 you, years ago. But why do you say it's impossible to do it now? Now it's easier. Yes. Everybody becomes a designer nowadays, I tell you why. Because if you are a celebrity, and you are in movies, or you are a baseball player, or you are a very good golf player, you become a designer very easily. Well, you can become a designer very easily, <laughs> but can you, can you be successful 35 years later, is my uh, well, question. That we don't know. You have to be consistent, and you have to know exactly what style you want to give to your company, and what are you selling, and what do you want to see the women wearing Herrera looking like. Although I know it's been it's hard and it's been a lot of work and it's been yeah. ups and it's been downs, you know, success, there's failure, there's everything. But, and I lived it from the inside. Yes. And what I'm saying is that I didn't, you know, people always ask me, oh, what's your mother the designer like? And I honestly don't know because I lived with my mother. I didn't live with a designer. That's it. How did you do that? But that's perfect because you have to have two different lives. You have your life, your professional life, which is in the limelight, I mean, it's in public. And then you have to have your private life, and I have separated that very well, because as you know, when I come back from the office at five, six o'clock or whatever time, I don't discuss any more business. You have never had me at home discussing all the things that I have done during the day. What advice would you give today? To? To somebody who said, you know, I want, uh, me, I want to be a designer. Oh, we ha you have to adore that, because it's not the glamour that I always say that is after the shows and the finales of the show and the glamorous show with everyone applauding and all that is a lot of work. And you have to put a lot of yourself in there and you have to have the heart in there and very good eye and talent. Most designers go to school. You didn't go to school. No, I didn't. I didn't go to school, but uh, that might help that I didn't, because you, you need teams to do that. I don't cut, I don't know how to sew a button. I know that. But I know how to direct. Mm -hmm. And my eyes are open for what I want to, to produce and what I want to show. And some designers go and they, are, you know, they learn how to cut, they learn how to do patterns, they learn how to do everything, and then they, they can't do it. You mean they have the technical, but maybe they but don't have the, the visual. Exactly. So you need, uh, you, to do what I do, I need a team for everything. You have to know how to direct them, and they have to have your eyes. You see what I mean? Because it's the same taste and the same way that I like to do things. My team is exactly like me. You love women, obviously. You dress women. You want to make women look beautiful and feminine. If you can think of... A, a female in a movie, a female in a book, 
and a female in a work of art. You know that I was very inspired by a female in a book, which is War and Peace. Oh, yes. Um, a romantic. painting. A painting. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to say a painting because uh, there's so many, but I love, love, love for fashion, the Boldini paintings. Mm -hmm. Because they are really fashionable. But the paintings inspire designers a lot, so there's so many. A movie with Greta Garbo. Ah, you always like it. Because Greta Garbo, for me, was the most beautiful and glamorous. And I think anything connected with Greta Garbo, one of her movies, Ninoshka, let's say. Okay. And funny you say Greta Garbo because, you know, she was quite mysterious, Greta Garbo, yeah, right? That's why I call you mysterious. That's why I call you <laughs> I Greta. Know. You do call because me Greta. Because you try to be very mysterious. Oh. Why are you so mysterious? <laughs> but let's talk about that. Let's talk about the difference between <laughs> having an open book and keeping something no, inside. Carolina. Yes, it's my interview. Yes, but I can't ask you questions, no? <laughs> <laughs> um, Tell women, me the we, women cannot be an open book because mystery is very important in life, and especially for women, in the way they dress, in the way they talk, in the way they act, and in their life. You cannot be an open book, and everybody has to know exactly how you are. Right, I, I think no. men too. No, don't you think? Less. I mean, I, really? They are always mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> the ones we like. <laughs> the ones we like. Um, okay, so let's go to this point, which is very current nowadays, which okay. is the social media and the Instagram and everything being, you know, what you eat for breakfast, everybody knows, where you go, what you wear, you know, etc., etc., etc. I know, what you th I know what you think of that, but tell me. That goes with my mystery. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to know, to people to know what you're eating? Or what are you doing every single moment? Whom are you seeing? I mean, no, I don't have an Instagram, a private Instagram. I have the House of Herrera Instagram for the company. But I don't have my private one. I will never have it because I don't know anybody to know what I've been having for breakfast. You're just a little stalker. You stalk other people's Instagrams. No, I just... A little bit. Just, uh, hours, for example. No, I just watch you and Patricia and Carolina uh -huh. and uh, all of you. And uh, I think that sometimes it's a bit too much. Now, I have to say a funny story. I don't know if you remember <laughs> this. We were away once in, in, for Christmas. And we were trying to give you a lesson on how to do, <laughs> use Instagram and your computer and you were desperate. And after one hour of us explaining to you everything, I know you, you said, I get it. I know it. I get I know why my computer is not working. <laughs> and you said, I left my wifey in New York. <laughs> you know, I remember that that was in Punta Cana, yes. right? Yes. And all... Everybody around, uh, Roberto and Federico yeah. and all of them, were laughing. And every time they see me now, I say, how is your Wi-Fi? <laughs> you left your Wi-Fi in New York. Obviously, you didn't get anything we explained to you. Okay, so now tell me, what, what is glamour for you? Glamour? I mean, it's, everybody's asked you that, but tell no, me. No, I know, you can, you can ask me. Glamour is something that is born with you. And um, sometimes you find somebody very glamorous. But it's not a tragedy not to be glamorous. <laughs> No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. No. It's Some... very difficult to explain what glamour is because they see it with different eyes. And I have to tell you, I have mm. seen super glamorous women who are very boring. Very boring? Yes. They usually are boring? Do you no, mean? not usually, but I'm saying <laughs> you said it's not a tragedy. What is glamour for you? Well, I think it's, it's mysterious elegance. Mysterious elegance. That's a good word. Well, I'm going to. Do you know what I mean? That's because good, sometimes, that's a good sometimes glamorous, mm -hmm. you think it's, you know, everything you see on the outside. Yes. And that is when I say some women who are very glamorous can be a bit boring, which you said it wasn't a tragedy, and I'm saying it's not a tragedy. I agree. If you don't get it. No. Um, I think it's the same thing as elegance. Everybody asks about who, what is elegance. It's not only what you're wearing. It's the way you choose what to wear. Is the way you think, is the way you move, is the way you have uh, art in your house, is the way you read. I mean, it's so many things all mixed, but it's not about beauty or money. Right. I say about beauty because you have seen many beautiful women. We are not elegant, which are not elegant, like Elizabeth Taylor, let's say. 
-hmm. The most beautiful woman, not elegant at all. Now, what's, what's your favorite place to go when you disappear? When you, you know, you know turn the phone off, leave your wifey at home? My house. My room. Uh -huh. I adore it. And you know why? Because I feel like peace. And uh, you have to be alone and you have to be in silence sometimes, no? I agree. In silence and nobody around, and that's something that I do quite often. You've always told us that, actually, yes. to know, to learn how to be alone. I remember when we were young, and if any time we said, oh, I'm bored, it was like taboo. You and couldn't bored? say you were bored. No. It was worse than, you know, lying and coming home at 6 a.m. three days later to say oh, that you were that, bored. That, that's not accepted. But I mean, uh, that... Word, I don't like it because, I mean, why do you have to be bored to so many things to do around? And, and also people, because of your And mind. I think everybody needs to know how to be alone at some point. Yeah, You I need agree. to. You have to cultivate inside you. You have to, do, you have to have interest in things that you don't do with many people. You do, just do it on your own. So I think that's very important for your mind. I do that a lot. I don't mind to be alone. You know what? We, we haven't talked about the reason I started working with you. Ah, uh, yes, I want to ask you. No, no, but you're not going to ask me now. Because, uh, no. you know, for that, I think we're going to go somewhere else. All right. Where we're are gonna we have going? A, you'll see. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. Mm -hmm. You'll be inspired to discuss oh, that, that aspect. It might be my favorite place to go. How do you feel when you're backstage before a show? <gasps> I feel. Can I tell you what? Yeah. I feel like my stomach is full of butterflies. Oh, well, that's a nice feeling. I like that. No, it's not nice. Because really? if I open my mouth, they all come out. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you don't speak. You just nod. Yes. No. Um, I'm always nervous. And after 35 years, I'm, I'm always the same, nervous. But trying to have all the people around me in a very calm way. Because I don't want anybody to be nervous. And I always tell them, why are you? running from one place to the other or fighting with the other one. We're only making dresses. Yeah, that's true. And it's actually quite calm, your shows. Yeah, they are calm because... In I, backstage, I, I I've make noticed. them calm because I don't believe in everybody running like they hysterical. Everything can be solved. Well, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> I love this place. You know, huh? you know why I brought you here? Or why we came here? Because well, we came to visit this beautiful house. Yes, but the reason I wanted it here is because mm -hmm. it's. I love gardens, it's and I know you love you gardens do, as well. And I actually, you know, started working with you 20 years ago because of perfumes. In fact, everything I've done in perfumes goes back to to you, to that smell yes. when we were when I because was young. Because Tell me about the, the you, you, When you came, we had already the Carolina Herrera, the original one, yeah. the first one. That is going to be 30 years already. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the reasons of the perfume is when the Pooch Company asked me to, to see if I wanted to do the perfume with them. I say yes, but you need to copy what I use. And I, I don't know if you remember that I used to buy oils and mix them to a rose and and uh, jasmine, and uh, I gave them the, the uh, scent, and they decided to do it. And you came in after that mm -hmm. to do the two and two. Of course, I remember that. The two but and it, two. You were responsible, you know, with whom? With Fabian Baron, who who's doing the book, the book now. Exactly. Yes. But the whole point is that um, flowers. You all, you love flowers. You've always loved I love flowers. flowers, and I always have flowers in my house because I love them. Okay. But What's I your favorite think, flower? My favorite flowers, look, I adore the garden roses and I adore peonies and I love uh, many flowers. But for the scents, I love jasmine. Do you know that the jasmine opens in the evening? Yes. So the smell was so wonderful. And it stayed with me always because the first perfume that I really smell was my mm -hmm. mother's. She used to use Joy of uh -huh. Patu, which is based in jasmine too. And then when I was able to wear a perfume, the first one I used was Diorissimo, which is also, also jasmine. Jasmine as a base for the scents is the best. Yeah. Because it's a, it's a very distinctive smell. 
and any, any perfume that has jasmine in it is a success. Where do you see Carolina Herrera going? I see Carolina What's going to happen? I mean, how, how, yes, where do you see it going? Well, I tell you something. Fashion, when you are involved in a fashion uh, business, it never stops. It's always going, and if it's going well, I hope it goes to the top of the world. And there is always a project, and um, it's very exciting what's going on now. We're opening boutiques for CH. We have uh, new perfumes, like uh, Good Girl, that I love. And there's so many um, things that we are doing, which I think is going to help put us on top of the world. Do, 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 do.